Thierry Henry praises Manchester United, Manchester United won't lose in finals. Former Arsenal striker Thierry Henry says he believes Manchester United will win the trophy in the final. Speaking to BT Sport after the game, Henry said, Manchester United have been very impressive this season, they were eliminated from the Europa League last week, but they are in much better shape this season, I don't think they would lose in the final with Ten Hag, said. Now we have a tough Manchester City game ahead of us, if we win this match, we will have won two trophies in one season. So what is your opinion on this subject? Do you think that we will not lose in the final as Thierry Henry said? Eric Ten Hag reveals how Manchester United squad prepared for penalty shootout versus Brighton. Eric Ten Hag revealed Manchester United had been practicing penalties all season after they struck a magnificent seven to book a spot in the FA Cup final. United's semi-final with Brighton ended in a Wembley stalemate, but Ten Hag's team converted all of their penalties before Solly March blinked first and fired over the crossbar. Case Miro, Diogo Dalit, Jadon Sancho, Marcus Rashford, Marcel Sabitzer, Wout Weghorst and Victor Lindelof all scored for United and after a season full of cup ties, practice finally made perfect for Ten Hag. Not only this week, we do it during the whole season, it's a part of our coaching and training, because we play a lot of cup games, in England especially, the United manager said. They looked tired as the game ticked into extra time but Ten Hag refused to let it be an excuse and told his players to get their mindset right. It's not easy, that can be part of the reason for Thursday, but it's all in your mind, it's all in your head, he said. Eric Ten Hag comments on David De Gea and says Manchester United let him down v Sevilla. Eric Ten Hag has come out fighting in defense of goalkeeper David De Gea after the FA Cup semi-final. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag is continuing to back David De Gea after an eventful few days. De Gea was awful against Sevilla and questions have rightly been raised over his future at the club, personally I would advocate moving on. But the opinion which will really matter is Eric Ten Hag, and he is continuing to back the Spaniard publicly. David De Gea made a number of important saves at Wembley through the 120 minutes to keep Manchester United in the game against Brighton. Eric Ten Hag told his press conference after the game he was very pleased with De Gea's performance, admitting he made errors against Sevilla. But at the same time, Ten Hag said United's outfield players did not do enough for the goalkeeper. If United had fought back against Sevilla, De Gea's mistakes would not have stood out as much. He told his presser, I was very impressed with him. He made some brilliant saves, it hurt when he made mistakes on Thursday, often when you make mistakes as a keeper you get punished, we let him down, we didn't fight back for him, we bounced back today though. Questions do remain over De Gea's future, but there's room to focus on the positives now after United's win. Manchester United now in pole position to sign Victor Osimhen after £133 million bid reveal. Chelsea's financial issues have handed Man United a huge boost in their pursuit of Napoli star Victor Osimhen, sources have told Football Insider. Both Premier League clubs are eager to sign a marquee striker this summer, and the 24-year-old Nigerian is at the top of their shopping lists. But the Blues are struggling to keep within financial fair play limitations and could drop out of the race if they can't match Napoli's nine-digit asking price. Football Insider sources revealed on Sunday that a move for Osimhen may now be considered financially impossible for Chelsea. United will likely have to match or even better PSG's bid in order to secure the Nigerian international signature. Osimhen has been one of the standout strikers across Europe this season, scoring 26 goals in 31 appearances and leading the Serie a golden boot race. Napoli are open to letting him leave at the end of the season, but they will be eager to use the mass interest to cause a bidding war between Europe's elite. United do have other forwards on their radar, including Brentford striker Ivan Toney. How did Ahmad Diallo fare in Sunderland's 2-1 win over West Brom? Manchester United's Ahmad Diallo is enjoying a very successful loan spell at Sunderland this season. The 20-year-old has registered 12 goals and 3 assists in 35 league appearances so far this campaign. The winger's excellent performances has earned him a nomination for the championship's young player of the season. 
United manager Eric Ten Hag is said to be so impressed with Ahmad's development that he is ready to include the player in the squad next term. The Ivory Coast international was also in fine form on Sunday as he helped Sunderland win 2-1 against West Bromwich Albion. While Ahmad had no headline moment, he made sure the baggies' defence could never relax in the game, he looked a real danger throughout, especially in the second half. The 20-year-old posted impressive numbers, with 71 touches, three key passes and three shots to his name. He also boasted a 88% pass accuracy, made three crosses and played four long balls. The latest success provided a big boost for Sunderland to make it to the championship playoffs. Eric Ten Hag provides big injury update on Rafael Verani after FA Cup semi-final win. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has provided a big injury update on Rafael Verani following the club's FA Cup semi-final victory over Brighton and Hove Albion. The Red Devils booked their spot in the FA Cup final against Manchester City following a penalty shootout win over the Seagulls. Victor Lindelof converted the winning spot kick. Speaking after the hard-fought result, Ten Hag revealed to Alex Crook that Verony could be fit for the Manchester Derby at the Wembley Stadium or maybe sooner. The Frenchman picked up an ankle injury during the first leg of the Europa League quarter-final against Sevilla, he was substituted at the halftime interval. It was recently revealed by the Mirror that he could be available for the FA Cup final in June and Ten Hag has now acknowledged that could be a possibility. Hopefully, Verony will be available to return sooner than that. The Red Devils currently have another eight games to play in their Premier League campaign. Verene is unlikely to return in the forthcoming games, but Ten Hag will be hoping that he will be involved in his plans in the lead-up to the FA Cup final on June 3. Best in the world bar none, James Madison lauds Manchester United star after stellar performance in FA Cup. Manchester United booked their place in the final after a tense penalty shootout at Wembley Stadium, with 120 minutes worth of action not enough to break the deadlock against Brighton and Hove Albion. The Red Devils will now take on rivals Manchester City on June 3 in the first-ever Manchester Derby FA Cup final. Madison was clearly watching along from home and highlighted Juan Bisaka for his stellar display across the match. He tweeted during the semi-final saying the right back is probably the best in the world bar none at one-on-one -on -one defending. He's not wrong either, as Juan Bisaka kept Keiru Mitoma quiet throughout all of regular and extra time and the Japan international has been a real livewire this season, yet another talented winger that hasn't been able to get past the United defender. Reports circulated across the summer that the Englishman was up for sale, with Eric Ten Hag seemingly on the hunt for a replacement in his position. However, his displays throughout the second half of the campaign have certainly earned him a chance to stay at Old Trafford, and he's likely now the manager's first choice.